Hey guys, it is Spooky Noodles. I am here with another collection. I already kind of showed you a little bit, well, most of this collection, but uh, I thought I'd do it in a separate video so people who want to, I don't know, um, recommend some of this guy's books and uh, tell me how some of these books in this collection are and how they feel about this author, they can do so in this video. Um, I'm always welcome to comments about certain authors and books, either bad or good. Just be respectful, of course, you know. Don't tell me that my content sucks just because I look weird or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. But uh, um, this today we will talk about Rick Hatala. I believe that's how you say his name. I am fairly certain that is how you say his name, but I could be wrong. Um, this guy has released a lot of books. Uh, I can actually look it up for you guys right now. Rick. Uh, Allah. Rick Atala. Aw, that's sad to hear. He died. He died in 2013, actually. He died seven years ago. Wow. But he has written over 45 books, it looks like. Let's see if there's a... Uh... Uh, sorry, my Siri is talking to me at the moment. Um, so, Rickatala has more than 30 published books to his credit including a million copy international bestseller Nightstone, as well as Twilight Time, Little Brothers, Cold Whisper, Impulse, and The Wild Man. He has also published four novels, The White Room, Looking Glass, Unbroken, and Follow, using the pseudonym A.J. Matthews. I didn't know that. His more than 60 published short stories have appeared in national and international anthologies and magazines, his short story collection, Bedbugs, which I may or may not have, uh, was selected as one of the best horror books of the year in 2003. A novella titled Reunion was published at, by PS Publications in December 2009, and Occasional Demons, a short story collection, was published in 2010. Uh, he wrote screenplays, several short films... So this guy was pretty uh, active. Um, um, excuse me. He is a graduate of University of Maine in or Orono with the Master of Art English Literature, which I wish I had. Um, he also has Renaissance and Medieval Literature. Hatala lives in Southern Maine, well, lived with author Holly Newstein. His three sons have all grown up and mostly moved out of his house. <laughs> he served time. He sh he served terms as vice president and trustee of the Horror Writers Association. Sadly, Rickatala died unexpectedly on March 21st, 2013. An autobiography he wrote in 2009 was discovered by his wife Holly after his death and is available uh, from Crossroad Press. His last two books, Demon, The Demon's Wife and The Mockingbird Bay, will be published by Journal Stone in 2013 and 2014. So, I wonder if they were released or not. The reason why I want to talk about Rick Hatala is because um, I'm currently look at, listening to Unsigahunk, which is... Uh, a novel, the novel uh, Little Brothers, and uh, seven short stories that have to do with the Little Brothers, and um, I really, really am digging this guy's writing. Like, he might be a new favorite author of mine, I don't know yet, that's why I went and grabbed a bunch of his books, but I really want to give this guy more opportunities to prove that he's a good author. 
And Little Brothers right now is amazing. I am really digging it. And I, uh, I look, I'm, I'm kind of looking up to this guy because he's such a great author. Um, but I just wanted to share with you guys the collection that I own of Rickatala's work. Now, it's not a big collection now that I know that he has over 30, 35 or 30, whatever it was, published books. So my collection seems very me meager, meager. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It just seems small in comparison to that number, but um, very small because I only have one, two, three, four, five books here. But I was really excited to do this little collection video because I own this dude's work and I think he's a great author. So. Without further ado, let's start with the first book, which is Bed Bugs. Pretty good condition. And uh, down here it says, Move over, Stephen King. Hatala is about to claim the piece of the, the horror fiction pie. They're both from Maine, which is pretty cool. Um, I think Rick Hatala's most of his work has to do in, um, sorry, this next book's a little dusty. Um, the, all his books have to do with being in, in Maine, so, um, looking forward to reading Bed Bugs. It's a collection of short stories, so I'm not gonna give you any, you know, synopsis, but next we have Ghost Light. And I know you can't really see because it's a dark cover, but... It's a guy hold, holding a bow and arrow, and he's about to launch the arrow. And the arrow's tips is the arrow's tip is covered in blood. Not everyone rests in peace. Let's read this one for you guys. Cindy Tolan knows that her sister's violent death was no accident. She knows her abusive brother-in-law too well. Knows the dark, brutal things he's capable of doing. That's why she took over her niece and nephew away into the night, away from a dangerous and twisted madness called home. But 10 year old Billy and his kid sister Chrissy know something their aunt Cindy doesn't. It's about the blue lady who comes late at night and whispers strange things. Billy and Chrissy aren't scared of the lady, even though she lives beyond the grave. But there's something else out there, something much more terrifying, it's daddy. And he's coming to get them. So that is Ghost Light by Rickatala. They're all going to be Rickatala. So I don't know why I'm, I said that. This next book I am very proud to own. And I'm very proud to own it in the condition that it's in. And that is Little Brothers. We were just talking about that. Now I don't know how close the cover is to the actual... Uh, book itself because it says in the book that it's a brown creature brown little creature and as you can see this one's blue maybe it's the shade of the night that's covering the the uh, monster so you can't see that it's brown but whatever let's read this one main nightmare it has been five years since Kit Howard saw his mother horribly or I my dyslexia switched those words sorry Mother killed horribly by a blur of little brown things. Five years later, or five years of nightmares and a terror of dark places, five years of struggling to overcome what must have been just his imagination. But the Unsigahunk, the Indian word for little brothers, are no one's imagination. Hideous forest creatures who feed every five years on human flesh. The little brothers are about to emerge from the underground once again, only this time there will be no escape for the young boy who witnessed their la last feast. And this is an excellent condition. Most of these are zebra horror except for bed bugs which was a leisure. Um, but this one I'm very happy because I'm really digging the audiobook right now. And I'm actually trying, thinking about switching over to the book because um, the book's really long. It's, uh, let's see here, I think it's like 500 pages. 541 pages. 
So, yeah, it's this book is becoming a favorite of mine. Um, it doesn't come close to fear, but Rickatala is getting there. Like this book is really good so far. I'm really digging it, and I can't wait to read more. All right, next we have Nightstone, and uh, it's a holographic thing. It. If there wasn't a, a light right next to me, you could see it, but, uh, got the little girl, and then it turns into a skull, if you tilt it upwards or downwards. It's so hard to see, because I got my tortoise light right there, and, uh, maybe if I do it over here. You see the skull? You see the girl? Um... I got the tortoise light bulb right next to me, and uh, which reminds me, I probably have to uh, do some things. But the tortoise right there, and uh, I light always casts this bad glare on every book I show. I probably should move over to my old location, but uh, yeah, um, Nightstone, and this one has a pretty long. Um, uh, the old house in Maine was heaven for evil Nightstone. Um, this one has a long synopsis, so let's uh, read it, shall we? Ugh, let me swallow all the saliva up really quickly. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, hidden toys. The old house in Maine gave Beth the creeps. She couldn't believe they were really moving in. If it weren't for the wooden doll she had found in the closet of her new bedroom, she would have been miserable. But the strange hand-carved figure fascinated her, and she sensed with a child's instinct that she had to hide it from her parents. Hidden evil. It was a house of darkness and shadows. But with her secret doll, Beth wasn't afraid. Not even when she heard the scratching and whispering at night. Not even when she, it, the tall, massive stones of her dreams began to ooze with blood. For as she stared into the eyes of the wooden doll, she heard it call to her and felt the force of its evil power. And she knew that it was about to tell her what it, she had to do. Nightstone. Stephen King raves about Rikatala's Moon Death, one of the best horror novels I've read. I need to get Moon Death. But that is Rickatala's Nightstone. And then we come to the last book in this little collection. And that is a really beat up copy of Dark Silence. And it says, don't go near the old mill if you value your soul. And I thought this was a pretty interesting book. Um, it's probably the, sh the shortest one I have. And just to give you a sense of how much he writes, um, this book is pretty long. If I can switch the pages, my dry fingers. This book is 477 pages long, but it has to be the shortest one of these in this collection. So let me read the mm, synopsis for you. November 1694, Rachel Harrison's. An accused witch is hanged at the gallows tree in Summerfield, Maine. Before she dies, she curses all who live on her land. Her words end with the creak of a rope as the ladder is pulled out from under her. 1963 Autumn. My dyslexia flipped that, by the way. Sorry. A retarded boy is chased into the old abandoned mill. But it is one of his tormentors who ends up at the bottom of the shaft. Summer 1994. Brian Frazier has heard the stories about the old mill. They say it's haunted, filled with the whisperings of lost souls, cursed by the horrible things that happened there long ago, including something that his own father won't talk about. But Brian is drawn to the mill. Drawn to the mill drawn to an evil so hideous, so apocalyptic, it threatens one's insanity. Um, <clears throat> this goes on to say how it's really compelling and it's in the same 
neck of the woods as Dean Koontz and Robert R. McCammon. Um, Dark Silence sounds very interesting. Um, and I'm looking forward to reading it. But if I have to be honest with you guys, um, this is the most appealing book because I'm listening to it right now. But I am really enjoying Little Brothers by Rick Hatala. Um, and his writing has really, really blew me away. So I want to read more by him. Um, I think this is a first printing, but I could be wrong. Um, doesn't even say the printing. It just says that, um, I don't know. Maybe it's on the next page. No, it's not. So... This book inspired me to go get Rick Atala books. And Rick Atala is just an amazing author. He writes very well. Um, and I, I just am really enjoying him. He's in the same field as... Uh, I think he's probably better than Richard Lehman. But um, just because I'm a little biased. I love the Traveling Vampire show. But I've read three books by Richard Lehman. And I've learned that he's not my favorite author something i learned a little too late because i bought like all of his books but um rick Atala, even though i've only started listening to this first one little brothers which is the audiobook is called unsiga hunk um i'm learning that i am in love with rick Atala's writing and i hope his excuse me his other books are as good uh i hear nightstone is good so, but I'm probably, after Little Brothers, sometime down the road, I'm going to give Ghostlight a chance. Because Ghostlight sounds very good. Um, but, again, very happy to get this copy of Little Brothers by Rick Atala. Perfect condition, guys. It's pristine condition. Um, it's, like, never been read. And look at the font size. This is pretty big. Like... It's probably like 13 times New Roman, <laughs> but, uh, oh, it is so cool. It is so cool. And then it says like other books by Rick Atala is Moon Death, which I need to get my hands on. Moon Bog. And then it says Nightstone and Little Brothers. So I need Moon Death and Moon Bog. So, but, uh, and also Mountain King is one of them that I need to get. So there's a lot I need to get by Rick Atala, but so far Little Brothers has blown me away and it's such a great novel and I can't wait to finish it. So that is my Rick Atala collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, well, it's not a little video, but it's a little collection. So, um, um, if I had every one of his books, I wouldn't have read the synopsis for you guys. So I hope you appreciated that part. I know not everyone shares the synopsis for uh, their collections. So I thought I'd do that because why not? But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope you have a spooky night. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Now I am become death.